Welcome back guys to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door where after just escaping from the clouds here it seems we've got enemies to deal with. And sorting out, missed completely and the clouds attacked. And sorting out this bridge, let's lower it ASAP and we can get a power smash on the one in the back for a full 7 damage but of course now we didn't need to use FP because we're getting an attack boost. I'm wondering when this spell will ever run off. Though I admit we haven't really got much of it to be honest. We haven't really had it affect us many times. And everything seems fine. Let's start on the next one. And he's charged up. The other one's charged up. So we're not looking too good right now for being able to attack these ones. Now, well, we know we do have hammer throws. So we can take one out. We didn't have to touch you, sir, for five damage. We didn't get our star power back, despite not even needing it. Right, so how do we do with, deal with you? We have someone that can attack you without, you know, getting electrocuted. I doubt it very much, Lee. Now, Vivian can probably deal more damage in one hit. So let's use her. No, she can't deal any damage when he's charged up whatsoever. Four damage to both of us? That's nasty. Who's chucking stuff at us? I see two rocks. The other one ran away as well, so we're all good and proper. And a hammer and a Vivian combo. Finish the battle. See if we can run away from the other clouds in the meantime. Picked ourselves up nine start points though. We're halfway to another level. Quickly grab the coins and we'll see if we can make the jumping. No, oh, I made the last jump wrong and now the level cloud got me. I would nearly made it. I just jumped a little bit too eagerly, a little bit too early. Guys, can you come like down or something? Because like, oh, I'll just use a spin jump. Great damage. Taking him down, no problem. Shade Fist. We set him on fire after all. Even if he's charged up, he'll take a little bit. He charges up indeed, not so good for us. Can't do anything to him, pop him a hammer throw, but do I really want to use the stuff? Let's go all that defensive. Of course, we could actually use Veil here. Hiding the mar shadows of Mario to avoid attacks doesn't sound too bad. But one FP. Instead of 2 FP, we can just let him burn out and not take any damage whatsoever. And stylish when she comes back up from that, that's cool. Six more star points, lovely job. A little bit of FP back as well for that veil. Alright, platforming time, Sam. Let's get this done, no problem. Oh, whoa, red moves twice. They've all got their own little unique pattern. They all move in their own unique pattern. What What is their pattern? Is it moving twice or not? Okay, let's have a look. One, two. One. So green only moves in one, but yellow moves in one, two. I'm not sure now, so I'm just gonna... Oh, it's the blue one again! Yes, I am this bad at platforming. We've made it across, no problem this time. It seems our only way here is under. What else have we got going on? Okay. I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to be going from here. Aha! I see. We've got to launch to get this key. No problem at all, right. We can still sneak under here to see if there's anything. Yes, star pieces behind machinery. Can't check behind here, but I think we've got everything we can get, possibly. Unless there's more. Miss Mouse, tell us more. Nope, nothing in here. That's great. 
Let's escape ASAP! Very bad platforming as usual. Don't have to do a lot of it after all in Paper Mario, so to say. Where's this key for this door? It is indeed. Right, let's head through. Find if there's any more bad guys inside. It seems we've just exited. Ah! And I missed it completely. I have it the wrong way. But a pokey is here. Give us information, Goombella. Give us all the informations. That's a poison pokey. As you probably guess, it's a poisonous pokey. Yes. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 0. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over. Yes, okay, don't touch them. I kind of get that. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Now, the one question I do have is, can Vivian attack quite normally? I'm guessing I can't power smash it. I can't power smash it down in one blow. So I may as well go with a single hammer and see what's going to happen. Ow! Easier to dodge the throwing stuff, but the throwing attack does more damage all in all. Vivian, your turn! Can you punch them, Vivian? No! So we're back down to Coops or Bobbery or somewhere along those lines. I'm pretty sure Coops can take him out in one attack combined with a hammer. Ah, uh, we got... That's a lot of rocks, guys. Why are you so... Why, why are you, oh, x Norse, no wonder. Why are you so mad? Why are you so bad? The crowd really don't like me at the moment, do they? We knocked out another one of its segments. Time for the finishing blow. All the star points given to me. Right, let's continue on past the pokies. There's probably going to be more, no my luck. Who'd have fought? How many is there? Three this time. We could use Quake coupled with Power Shell to take them out in nice quick time. Though if that's quick in your book, it's not really so much, but it only uses 2 SP, we've got 6 SP, so we can use more star powers, at least the early ones. Without fail, really, as long as I, my timing's right, because I actually thought my timing was completely wrong on that one. This will take out those two, no problem. I think we've already powered it up to 5 damage, haven't we? Oh, I failed! 5? Should be enough, exactly, great. I can believe that, I messed up. My timing feels off today, like my jumping platforming. Okay, so there's a uh, box here, which kind of hints that... Boxes above, a Thunder Rage. Now what can we really get rid of here for a Thunder Rage? It's always nice to have at least one damage thing. I don't think Booze Sheet is that brilliant for us. It's going to be useful later. A gradual Syrup. I kind of just restore my stuff with... Stuff like Sweet Treat and Sweet Feast, really. So all these things are a bit... Slowly refills HP. You can eat it alone. Food that refills 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. I think the couple's cake is actually quite... Meh, really. Not that brilliant. We sent it down a long way. Ooh, Shine Sprites, you say? Well, I struck first on this one. I'll take the jump attacks I can. Right, should we finish off that main one, or take on the... Well, actually, no, we finish off the main one straight away, because we don't want it charging up for a four damage to both parties electric attack. That'd be terrible. Come on then, guy, take me on. Ow. No dodges, bad, bad, bad. We got a full hundred audience though, so that's going well. And another shine sprite we're about to pick up. I would like to level while I'm here, to be honest. Let's hope we keep staying lucky in that regard. Uh, 
Don't attack me, I want to strike first every time, getting a free attack, brilliant! And mind you, there is a load of them right now, so... Another route of damage, maybe? Hmm... Let's bring out our lovely lady Vivian. She's got a nice ability here. Fiery Jinx, let's do it. Press the buttons in order as they appear on screen. Well, seems to be lots of X's. For a nice big amount of damage. Everyone's burning, they're not liking this that much, that's for sure. Should we take out Mr. Cloud before anyone else? If only I could spin the attack back on them, they might die a little bit sooner. Vivian's poisoned. Might be best to take her out of the frame here. Of course, she can't attack them anyway. So, Coops. Get to work. And we'll be very close to leveling after this. We'll at least get 12 star points. Another battle like this and we'd be perfect, we'd be there, so I'm not too concerned about my FP or HP totals. I'm sure we'll get there. Gives the coins. Another spiny guy. So many enemies in our path. Nine star points here, let's hope for the curse at the end. Level me up perfectly after all. Right, we're gonna go jump on Mr. Cloudy Boy. And I only managed to not do the full 5 damage, but 7 is good enough, that's fine by me. Pokey's down, no problem, and a second stylish! And it seems a full HP restore, which is only 8 on Mario. If we had Vivian out or someone like that, it would have been maximum good. We'll defend that, no problem. Take you down, sir. Get to it, Coops! We're so close to leveling, only two more star points to go! Not worried in the slightest, but where's Beldam and the whatnot? I am worried about them, that's for sure. Are these markers on the wall any good, or are they like where posters have been ripped off? I'm wondering if there's. Ooh! There is a badge up on high there. There's something hiding behind here. Bobbery? Or maybe you, madame? Considering it's posters. It's a door in the end, but we're going to have to blow off lots of them. Now I'm wondering how many other kind of places we'd have to blow off. Seems we can blow off a lot of posters, but I'm wondering if we can blow off like the big ones and they reveal roots to us, but I'm not sure. There's a badge up there, how to get to it. Oh, okay, there's... This is not good. We can't power them, they got spikes on them, how are we going to defeat them? Well, we need you out first of all to tell us exactly what's what, but we're going to need an ability, I'm sure, here. So, uh, let's go to our badge menu quickly. We have three badge points that I haven't equipped. What about that jumping attack, tornado jump? Sounds good to me. Apart from that, some way to get rid of them nicely? I don't know. A sleepy stomp? No, we need to get rid of Oh, spike shield! Did we get that? I thought we did. I thought I, I, thought I got spike shield or something along those lines. Trick Stomp, Damage Our Happy Heart. Is there a Spike Shield? Defend Plus, of course. Spike Shield would be perfect. Ah, we do have that. So we have a different route. Does this work for both of us? Make Mario damage proof when jumping on spiky foes? That sounds like a perfect way to defeat them. Oh, I didn't manage to jump on them then. Problem of going down steps at the same time. Right. We can flip them upside down. No problem for you, Goombella, to help us in the attack. I just wonder if Tornado Jump would be better as a whole. That's a spiky power buzzy. It's a buzzy with a spike and wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Hey, the same stats as a normal buzzy. Yes, fire explosions don't work on buzzies in case you've forgotten. 
And this one flies in the air and has a spike, what a total pain! We better use an item or a special move. Well, we did have the Thunder Rage that we could have used, that's for sure. We can knock it down onto its spike. It's still going to be doing quite a few attacks in the meantime. We'll take out one. Before we move on with the other, this one's going to get attacking all the same. And I didn't get the special damage guard. I've kind of mostly given up on those because I always miss them. Get in there, madame. Do the full damage total to Gambrella and Mario with the spike shield badge. Perfect for us for this. We have leveled up once again. Could get badge points and do tornado jump as well, to be honest. But I clicked very, very quick, which I did not intend to do, and we took HP. And got attacked in the meantime. Right, we've got ourselves one of those as well. Who to take down first and foremost? Well, Spike Shield will actually allow me to hit that last one. What about Multi Bounce? We can actually do damage to the last one, so that's great. But we got no way of knocking them all down or over or something on those lines. Thunder Rage, however, that might prove kind of useful. We want to wipe them out straight away. The best way to go. We've got stuff flying everywhere. Coins and whatnot. Give me the coins. And a tube thing to roll down on top of that. Okay, so I was wondering what was this way first of all. Whoa, that's a long way down. Oh, I didn't even manage to hammer it. Oh, these guys have vampiric kind of bat items here. Okay, not good. Uh, quick way and easy way to get rid of them? If there's any, I'd have to say it's Art Attack. May as well use the star power when we've got a full amount of it after all. Free damage to all of them. We only have to do that a couple of times. And if we fail, we can always get Coops out. But that's all we need. That's all she wrote. You guys are defeated. Defeated, no problem. We'll get ourselves 12 more star points. This is an endless, endless thing of battles here. Ah, oh, and I can't hit them with a hammer no matter what. Only one. Ah, with a beetle as well. Not so good. Well, in the meantime, I think that we should take out Mr. Spiky first because we can change to Coops and take him out in one turn. Take them both out in one turn, but Mr. Spiky there can do a little more damage, can he? Maybe I'm overestimating him a little. Down he goes, no problem. Well, that was defended pretty well. Oh, don't fall on him. Electrified enemies that make contact will get hurt. Well, that's actually not too bad. Switch, though. Even though he doesn't have Electrified, Goombella can take him out in one hit. So many battles hitting us right now. I probably should have went down the slope by, by a tube, but we actually got first hit this time. That's so these guys again, so Coops, get out here and help me out. We'll defeat these no problem. Your HP is so low, it's kind of worrying. We need to kind of get a lot of second upgrades going, to be honest. Cat power hammer him's taken down, so normal hammer will do. And you're calling an ally? Well, that's no good for me. Can you be, like, nice? Well, power shell if we want to take him out this turn. And hammer to finish the job. I'll take the extra star points, no problem. We've only just leveled and we're almost up to like halfway to another one. And it seems there was interesting stuff up there once upon a time, but we missed the kind of 
and what was down there. So let's bring ourselves all the way back up. And we'll take a rolling trip next episode, guys. So join me for more Paper Mario then. So we try to lower this bridge and get back on our train. We're still not back on. So join me for that. Bye-bye.